bucks. Give him hell. Out. Okay. Alternative check. AAD online. Equipment's good to go, Lieutenant. Now collect your weapons. Command will update your objectives once you're on the ground. Stand by, Fox. You are clear to fly rock. Right, so here we are, lone soldier behind enemy lines. And uh, you better believe we're coming for your red signal flares. Yeah, this is one of those situations where, like, stealth is important. What's that you say? This game doesn't have any stealth mechanics. Oh, right. Yeah, no stealth mechanics in this game. As soon as you've rumbled everything, uh, you're in the shit. But we do have a nice little drone here. So we'll have you. We also have a shotgun. This shotgun is really bloody good, actually. We've got this Barra M1 looking thing, which uh, is cool, but uh, this is a brutal difficulty to be one man armying it, to be honest. It's not that bad, but it has its moments. You've got to really keep an eye on that map, see where enemies are coming up from couple of enemies rushing you and not having your men watching your back it's kind of all over in a lot of ways it's easier when they're bum rushing you oh oh yeah apparently they can shoot through rocks <laughs> who would have thought that interesting Right, let's go get a nice little vantage point. Although you don't want too much of a vantage point because they can shoot you wherever you are. And uh, yeah, they're accurate. They're really accurate. The saving grace is there is only a limited supply of enemies. And you can obviously and kind of have to kill them all. Oh, buddy. Can you see how accurate that guy is? <laughs> they don't fuck around. And that's right. We only have a few lives to do this. This probably would have been better if there were some reasonable stealth mechanics in the game. Like I say, there are not. Well... He got a 50 BMG through the asshole. Luckily, he just shakes off. Until the second one goes through his shoulder and out of his asshole. Couldn't quite shake that one off now, could he? Okay. Now, hopefully... Nope. Nope. There are still more. There's always more. See what I mean? There's always more. Now there's probably like a really efficient way through this. But I just shoot them all. Because, <laughs> like I say, the stealth mechanics are absolutely anus. Alright, let's grab a drone. We could probably use the drone to spot all the enemies actually, but I think think in fact I'm almost certain that once you've spotted them if you don't keep eyes on them um, oh god yeah not good not good not good not good if you don't keep eyes on them oh hi yeah this is where things get bad when there's multiple enemies
Yeah, those little pings on your map do fade. Oh, straight through the throat. Oof. Let's have a look. Let's try and use one of these things. See if we can pinpoint anything. Well, they don't have a huge range, but it's enough. Yeah, it's not really a good idea to use those, to be honest. Just seem to get you in trouble. Although, they might distract them for a little while. Which could always help. Hello. See that beautiful melon of yours just ripe for the plucking. I say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sounds like it's one... Yeah, I was going to say, sounds like it's one right besides us. You can see the shotgun. Shotgun is a wonderful thing. Because, you know, it actually acts like a shotgun. And not a point-blank range sucker punch. And it's an automatic shotgun as well. You know, proper military shotgun. It's good. It's really good. Oh, there's a turret there. So... I'm going to do the only reasonable thing. Take back control of this bass. Really need to get this thing gone. Because that turret will ruin our day. Really quickly as well. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oof. Right in the sternum. Alright, cool. Looks like we're clear. Oh, sniper in the tower. I mean, where else would there be a sniper, let's be honest. Oh, almost caught that between our teeth. Alright. Any goodies around here? Usually on these outposts there are some nice goodies, but Oh, hello sir. Oh god. Think we might get shot in the anus on the way out. Nope, we're okay. Oof. Jesus. Someone's got a bit of a mood on them. Anyone else? Couldn't have just been you making all that noise. Nope. Oh. If we actually have a good look up here. Apart from a load of ammo, there's nothing. Right, cool. Fair enough. Can we get some kind of overwatch? Gonna say we could take that vehicle and have some fun, but no, the vehicle is sadly disabled because of course it is. Hello, please don't glitch. Oh god, all right, I thought we were lost in the scenery then. Actually, to be honest with you, um, there's very few glitches and bugs with this game that I found. Oh god. Oh man, we're dead. We're dead. We've got nowhere to move to. Seriously? You, sir? Played yourself. Oh! Now we're being played. Oof. Oh god. 
That got a little bit concerning. <sighs> Who's next? Ah, oh, hello. Now, if you're wondering if this entire level is sniper, sniper fun, uh, it's not. Once we get to the halfway point, it does go back to not sucking ass with a sniper rifle. Which is good. Because I freaking hate the sniper rifle. Well, actually, it's not true. I like the sniper rifle. I just am not a fan of this particular section. Whoa, we've got everything looking at us. Hot potato. Oh, hello. Just literally knocked all my teeth out. Very crazy Ivan waiting around the corner. I think he had some kind of sniper scope on that thing. See that? That was a hell of a long shot for a shotgun in a video game. Not necessarily for a real shotgun, but video game style. Come on, Ivan. Calm down. Oof. Oof. Oh, God. They're shooting me through the wall. I guess that's kind of a bug or a feature. Because I don't think bullets are meant to go through cover. Although it would be a cool feature, to be fair. Oh, God. My brain. Stop shooting my brain. I need my brain for thinking. And not hitting you, apparently. Oof. Last six shells. He's done. Oh, we've got an assault drone. This guy's talking some shit. Talk shit, get hit, mate. At the end of the day. Alright. Whew. That was intense. Definitely having that. Oh, God. Undetected. Like, we haven't been making enough noise, apparently. Right, this is where things get a little bit more tricky. But we got some nice tools, sir. As you can see, he could hear me. All the way over there. Because, you know. That makes sense. You know it makes sense. These uh, crazy Ivans have, like, godly hearing. And we're going to get killed. Yep. <laughs> How many... Oh, okay. And we can't... Oh, we can now have assault. Ah, oh, excellent. You know what? We'll go for the special ops. Special ops is cool. And we did lose some of our weapons. But that's fine. I'd rather have special ops equipment. I had no idea we could actually change our equipment load out here. We've still got our assault drone as well. Now the SMG is pretty cool. It's not very accurate, but it puts out so much lead. It doesn't really matter. And it's silenced. Which I have honestly no idea if that makes... Oh god, there's a tower. I have no idea if it being silenced actually makes a difference. And we're dead again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Right. One redeployment left. Maybe we'll just go standard assault. Because we get a bit of zoom with this bad boy. Right. What I might do is deploy the assault drone. Let's do just that. Okay. Now hold on to your ass and watch that signal drop right the way down to nothing. Actually, she's holding all right, to be fair. Oof. 
Now, if I was a crazy Ivan, where would I be? Unfortunately, they will shoot your soldier whilst you're using these vehicles. Look at that! That's kind of bullshit. Hiding up here. Luckily. Luckily, we are reasonably accurate in this thing. I think that's that. Don't really want to risk it. Right, let's check down. Yeah, see if we can find anyone hiding. That's actually a pretty cool little Overwatch position. Let's reload. Now, you can't manually reload. You actually have to run them out of ammo. Right, let's leave our assault drone up there. It's not a terrible position for it to be in, to be honest. And if shit goes down, we can call it in. What would be cool with the assault drone is if you could put it in some kind of gun turret mode. No, we're clear. Right, let's get this back down. Let's see if we can push it up. Now, you can, like, roll these things downhill and whatnot, but it doesn't appear to really do any damage to them. So, there's no worries there. Got some more drones. Oh, shit. Pushed the wrong button and blew it up. Which, to be honest, is something, I'll be honest, I didn't know you could blow it up. Apparently, if you push B, it go boom. Which is really sucky. All right, let's grab some gear anyway. So we've got a much better and more reliable weapon, at least. The sniper rifle is what it is, but it's just... For this particular mission, man... I really don't think it's worth it. 50 rounds of pain is more like it. There's nothing there. No. I always think there's a drone there. I mean, maybe there might be on normal. Okay. Now, there are achievements for completing every level under a certain time and uh, completing them without dying, which they're not that difficult to get. Alright, let's get some nades out. Try and put a little bit of pressure on these guys down. I think we've got him. Oof. This is intense. And it's only on this difficulty where it, the game is really intense. It kind of feels good for it. Another assault drone. Ooh. Calm down, John. You're putting the Spartans to shame. Cool. Another assault drone. Just what Daddy wanted. That was kind of hectic. Yeah, I'm not one of these difficulty snobs. In fact, I think most. Modern harder difficulties are just overrated because they're just insanely hard for no reason other than being insanely hard. But this game gets a good balance right. Okay. Now we do... We do want to get our drone out here. Our assault drone. Because this one is a little bit spicy. Excellent. We need those reinforcements. Just mow down everything here. Now, I'm not really sure why this drone needs to reload. It doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Because you would have thought it would just have an internal magazine. But, hey, I don't make the rules.
Job freaking done, son. Right, let's leave the drone there. We're not going to blow it up this time. It's like I say, I didn't even know I could do that. That was really annoying. It's like, this drone is our saviour. Oh, we blew it up. Right, I don't know how we put that thing in our back pocket, but we're not going to question it. Okay. And with that... Oof. Excellent. Yeah, now this mission kind of lets up a little bit. Gives you a little bit of breathing room. Uh, do not enjoy that sniper mission at all. Wow. Making it sound a lot worse than it actually is, but it's probably the roughest mission in the game. Okay. Now this part is a little bit rough. But at least we've got some dudes. Well, yeah, after just single-handedly killing everything in a mile squared radius. Yeah, this does get rough. This is a, a capture and hold mission. And yeah, it's pretty rough. You just get a countdown timer. Um, I don't know if we can actually fail this, to be honest. Like, because they do try and retake the areas that you've taken, but I don't think it matters too much if they do. Oof. Oh, we have melee apparently, dude. You really don't want to be hiding there with a rocket launcher. You want to be somewhere out in the open, alright? I'm just saying. I don't pretend to be an armchair general, but I do know that's probably not the greatest idea in the world. Got ya. Anybody got any frags? Uh, I don't. Not where you are, anyway. Right, come on, boys. Let's push. Whilst I drink some tea. Okay. Nope, wrong button. I keep pushing the other trigger to aim down the sights. But that's not how it works in this game. That is a rail rifle. Rail gun emplacement. It's pretty spicy. But it only has limited amount of shots. Because of course it does. Okay, things are not... Oh, get off the bloody thing. Alright, so we got the motor pool. Now, we just need to get the command. And I think... I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to take you, and I'm going to take you, for sure. Any other little toys we can take. I think that's it, actually. Alright, one magazine. Yeah, maybe some more ammo, if there is any ammo. There should be ammo. There's usually ammo, there is ammo there. Oof, I was going to say, we're kind of <laughs> in a bad way, if not. Hey, Ivan. Oof. Hopefully that did some damage. Yeah, no shit. No shit, Sherlock. And there are enemies inside the enemy HQ, apparently. Who would have thought? Whoa! Dude. Good thing this weapon doesn't jam. Must be that superior American engineering or something. Whoa. Look at 
Look at him. Dug in like an Alabama tick. It's gone now. Go get them, boys. Yeah, break some eggs or whatever you just said. Break some eggs. Uh, he, he couldn't have said that. I don't think. Maybe he did. I don't know. Alright, let's go in. Hopefully there's another way around here. There is. Sweet. Oh, hard to run when your back is full of lead. Ooh. I don't know what the hell's shooting me. Apparently his bullet's going through the wall. <laughs> Careful, mate. Jesus. Almost took my teeth out with your helmet. And that sounds really bad. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Took me teeth out with his helmet. Oh, hello. Ah, lovely. Got some artillery pieces here. Sweet. Right. Uh, let's set the railgun up somewhere. Um. Yay! Yes, boss. So, if we get the rail gun set up here, which isn't exactly a great place to put it, apparently. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, notice how we can pick everything apart from the uh, assault guy. Our ass is blowing in the wind. Hopefully not. Right. Dying there was really bad because... Oof. Okay. We've got three lives. We should be fine. They say we should be. You only have to survive for five minutes, but they do throw a lot at you and they will try and take these places back. Which is bad. Yeah, shit. We definitely can't use that weapon. Oh, that sucks. That sucks really bad. Uh, let's go for anti-vehicle. Oh, God. That is rough. Can't remember what other weapon the anti-vehicle guys have. Shotgun. Ooh, things are heating up out there. Well, that's okay. Now let's go drop. We'll drop an airstrike out there. And maybe. Maybe this was a bad idea. This weapon. Yeah, they're taking over the motor pool, which is kind of problematic. Let's spin this Gatling up. Now this Gatling is pretty freaking good, but the problem with it is it needs to reload. Alright. Oh shit! And somehow, <laughs> getting off that Gatlin, uh, I fell down the hole. Because reasons? I don't know. That was f interesting. Never had that problem before. Right, well, that's fine. Now, I don't think our troops, unfortunately, can retake buildings. Like, that has to be us to retake buildings. For, again, reasons. I might want to go and grab. Who's up there? Grab the motor pull back. But I don't think it matters. Right, he's dead. Yeah, these soldiers over here really have fucked up. 
if single handed oh yeah god damn it I've got to retake the motor pool and I have zero weapons to really do that with there's no one here to defend this place either okay guys can you maybe not stand out here in the open alright just a suggestion maybe actually come back here and try and retake this place just a suggestion doesn't have to be me that does everything alright maybe it does I don't know ah oh, we're dead Oof. so we've got one redeploy left let's go assault Ah. Uh, never rely on your men, by the way. That's what I'm getting from this. Oh! Enemy vehicles. Are there any trouble? Yes, the only trouble. I really don't know what's going to happen if that timer ticks down and we haven't retaken the motor pool. I don't think we like lose, but I've never, it's never happened before. So, I guess we're about to find out. Right, you guys can at least hold the fort behind us. Oh, right, yeah, there's two waves. Of course there is. Why would there only be one wave? That's kind of interesting, actually. I never re I, I've well, I just never realised. I forgot that there's two waves to hold off. Why don't they just give you a ten-minute countdown? Kind of seems a little bit redundant. But this should be easier to hold this area. Right, let's get on the gun. Hopefully. They are actually holding against the uh, enemy infantry over the other side. I'm not going to hold my breath, but fingers crossed. We're just going to sit here and wait for those juicy red targets. Get rid of that, because that's kind of in the way. Red Star Tank. Well, that's problematic for sure. We really don't want these guys getting in there and taking the area back. What's that? Ah, shit. Oh, God, the tank can actually hit me. Uh, that's questionable. That's like an anti air vehicle. That's nasty. Yeah, I can see that. They've also got a hell of a lot of armour over that. And I've got a handful of men that are just doing whatever the hell they feel like doing. Right. Hey, where do you come from? Yeah, you say air support's on its way. That's a strong term, to be fair. Right, let's try and pop this bass. That'll work. Oh, hello. Now, I'm going to have to... Ooh, really? Someone else that's late for work, huh? Can't all be late for work. Oh, come on. Guys. Yeah. Come on, guys. This is getting sad now. You guys, between yourselves, can handle one area, I'm sure. Alright, it's just one area. I will go do the other area by myself. And we've got a tank. Okay. 
should only I think it takes two rockets to take a tank out. Oh, the bloody dickhead got in the way. Seriously. What am I paying you guys for? Yeah, we know that. Can I get some health back, please? Thank you. Right, good. Good. This is good. Okay, all right, let's go lead these idiots to victory. All right, guys, seriously, just hold this one area, okay? I'm not asking you to do miracles. It's just one. Jesus. Is it possible to send me some more incompetent soldiers? Or any more incompetent soldiers? I mean, these guys are pretty much taking the cake right now. Oh, God. Yeah, I can see that. And the, the sights on my gun are faulty as well. Which is detrimental to the war effort, I can assure you. What was that about superior American engineering or something? All right, hold tight. In goes Rambo. We can take these guys. Yes, we can take these guys. It's always we, isn't it? Okay, securing. Wait, there's three waves? Red Star have gained control of the HQ building. You need to retake that objective. Satellite shows enemy forces as eliminated or dispersed. There we go. Congratulations, stray dogs. You just might have turned this war in our favor. Yeah, not sure what that's about. Never seen three waves before. Oof, I was gonna say, what the hell? Excellent. Well, that's us nearly halfway through the game. Traversing the Badlands in Kazakhstan when Coalition Command made a gutsy call to send troops north, across the Russian border. This was the day I heard about the murderous rioting back home. Deaths in thousands. People grew tired of the years of bread lines, water shortages, constant blackouts. The blackouts made nights in the cities a swarm of anarchy. Once night fell, you didn't dare leave your house without a death wish. Society had gotten so used to constant electricity that when it failed, the darkness drove people mad. You might think we'd start to adapt, but so far it had just kept getting worse. When I was a kid, it was an old book my grandfather read to me once. It was about some children that went mad when stranded on an island. It said that without a structured society, human beings would return to savagery. Well, it seems that the author was right, because society was crumbling all around us. And that day in the Kazakhstan Badlands, all the rules of engagement crumbled right along with it. You know... <laughs> I do kind of like the story, to be honest. Would have been nice to see where it goes. Um, you know. But um, I'm also not buying the fact that uh, when nighttime comes, everybody goes mad. Have they not heard of candles or LED lights? You know, that solar paneled lights, actually. You know, would be enough to keep the lights on. Maybe not everything, but you could definitely power the place. Um basic lighting and stuff but hey anyway what do i know this is the crazy year of 2024 anything could be happening so thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time